We got the 110 cc, no compression, out of time. We're gonna fix all of that right now. First thing is get that motor mounted somewhere where you can work on it comfortably. Then we're gonna drain the oil out. Well, no compression. <coughs> so we put the oil drain back in. We repositioned the motor so it's sturdy. Now we're gonna start removing these four bolts. These are your head bolts. These are your head nuts. The head bolt studs run all the way through there, through the valve assembly and the head. And this is what it looked like. Each one of these got washers on them. If that washer's not there, you will bottom out this nut and you will be fucked. It's always nice to have a couple of rags around and keep everything nice and organized on a clean surface. Now we're gonna start removing it very carefully. been on there a long time. Couple good pops, she'll come off. Don't worry guys, you got all new gaskets and everything in these kits. Looks good. Trash. Alright, let's pop this off. Now we're gonna move to this. Timing chain cover bolt. See I loosen on this side and it gives Rob access to the timing chain on this side. Now there's two bolts. There was one right here and there's one right there. We gotta get those removed. And we'll get to this one in just a minute. Break it loose with a 10 mil and you can get it out with a filter. That one's see how bad this actually is. I think that's too bad. Their valves are just done. Alright, so now we gotta take the timing sprocket right. off. Nine. Couple pops. And the valve assembly comes right off of there. She's a little dirty. But now, that other 10 millimeter bolt right there, as you see inside of there, there's another roller. So you gotta take that bolt out and get that roller out. All right, that's next. Bolt. And then put some finessing. Need that poke pick. There she is. Just a little bit of finessing. And the roller will come out. Remember guys, on the cylinders, on the old one, the intake should be up. 
So whenever we're putting the new one in, you'll see intake's gonna be up. On the piston. On the piston. Ooh, stuff falling everywhere. And there's the old cylinder head. Now, we're gonna remove this piston and we'll get to unboxing some parts. To remove the piston, on either side, you just remove the C clip, the C clip, and pop out the wrist pin. And it will go fine. All but right. you got new ones. So then push the wrist pin from the opposite side, and there she comes. And there goes the piston head. All right, guys. All right, guys. And while you got the head off, you want to check your crank bearings to your connecting rod. It's gonna be this. Four. Gonna have side to side. Just a little bit. No up and down. No up and down. Just a little bit side to side. You know. That feels good tight now we just gotta get the rest of this gasket out of here make sure you clean up all the old stuff you don't want no air pockets this rubber o-ring that goes here is for your oil feed keep it very careful you don't lose that and now we need a razor blade 